Oh no, they've taken my space dog. Ah, uh, I better chase them up this, up this vine. That'll work. I can't see anything that could possibly go wrong if I just climb it. Oh, oh no, that's broken. Luckily, I can literally distort the fabric of reality with my finger. This is Bring You Home which is a game where you take control of this strange alien fellow who's had his poor little alien dog abducted and so you must try and rescue him across a series of different levels by jumping between portals. To get across the world though, you have to manipulate not the main character himself, but the environment he's in, and that is where the puzzle truly lies. If you remember Tiny Thief, that was a game that was made by Rovio back uh, in the days, this is the studio within Rovio that did that. They also did that space game which temporarily escapes my mind, and I honestly thought it was going to be another one of these identical kind of very simple point and click cutesy adventures. I did not expect this little mechanic where you move around the environment, which puts it much more in the same genre as something like Splitter Critters or even framed, where you're moving around different aspects of the environment in order to try and create a series of events, one of those machines that you see where you hit a domino and it moves a ball which knocks a thing over and, and you know, then eventually a dog gets patted on the head. I don't know how it works, but part of the fun is watching how this goes wrong. So I can try and maybe, let's say, use this. Maybe I'll fall on his head. Nope, completely missed. The bear's fallen away. Let's try this. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> he just rolls back awkwardly in the other direction. How about one of these? We'll do a little flip. Go on, land on his head. Yes, come on. And there you go. I just need to hop on the bear's head, obviously. Because of the portal system, you're not stuck in the same environment all the time. He's constantly hopping between these different environments. See this one? I've got three layers. Now this gets a lot more complicated. So if I get this shield and I put the fox on the floor, then this dustbin lid shield will block it. Yes. But now I don't have the shield anymore. So, it, ah, this cheeky dog. So I've got to find a way around that. So maybe if I put the fox up here and I choose a sword. No, wait, hang on. Maybe I can, actually, no, let's use the sword. Maybe I can batter the rock, maybe the tree. Yes, yes. There he is, taking him out, and now... <laughs> still smashed in the face. Okay, how about... Because I saw that that big lump of snow the fox is holding fell about there, so maybe I can take out two in one shot. What do we think? Oh, nailed it. And that's how this plays out. I genuinely think this is quite a lovely little thing. It's obviously quite simple in the early stages. It gets more complicated as it goes along, but it's really charming. You get a lot of color. I really like this little... Whoa, what happens if he falls, falls on the bird? I must find out. Let's go. <laughs> See? That, that animation was pleasing to me, so I quite liked that. So the bird is a no-go. Let's try the UFO. Well, the U UFO goes nuts, but then he gets caught in the in the ladder. Okay, let's swap the ladder for... There's a pig! Let's crash into the pig. Uh, this won't work, but... <laughs> it just went... Eh. Good enough. Okay, but the cloud, I remember that. He fell through the cloud, so potentially you can just whiz through. Yeah. And there it is. There's the elegant simplicity of that. And now, see, now we're talking about... I've got four things. So, let's try the spring. So he hops into the net. So we don't want that. Let's move the net away. And replace it with a hoop, like in the circus. <laughs> the disappointed single eyeball. So we need to find a way. Actually, I reckon we've got a Diablo. I remember them from when I was a kid. He's got an umbrella. Can I bounce off the umbrella? And off. The yes, yes. Satisfaction. This is a premium game that you can get. It's iOS. I don't know if it's iOS only or not, but it just came out. And considering the kind of spooky start to the week that I had, which was reviewing like The Room, Old Sins, and then Thumper, that excellent music game, but arguably quite horrific music game. This is just a little burst of actual oh, joy. I say joy. I've just been eaten by an evil chest, like from that Dark Souls. Look, I've shrunk myself to tiny proportions, and I'm being chased by a massive rat. <laughs> this game is just adorable. How can... Maybe I can go under a chair. Will the chair work? I like this mirror to shrink myself mechanic. This has got to work. How... Ah. Oh, oh, the chair... I, I thought 
the chair might change the mouse, but the mouse, that hole, still there. How? Oh, no, no, forget about that. Stupid thing. Moving all of that. I've got a massive bird. What's the massive? Maybe the massive bird will eat the mouse? What do you reckon? I've just been toasted, Harry Potter style. I think I'll leave it there. I don't want to spoil any more of it, but Bring You Home is the name of the game, and I would strongly recommend you having a look if you fancy this kind of whimsical, charming adventure. Uh, I'm a fan. Hopefully you'll be too. Thank you for watching. See you next time.